How's it going, boys? We're back. Before we get started, subscribe, like, share. Definitely subscribe. Definitely like. Definitely share. Like I tell you guys, I'm going to keep on telling you guys. I talk about a lot of cool shit, so you know how I my numbers up. And today, boys, I'm back with another video. It's going to be a short one. Um, and yes, you guys can tell by the title, I am backtracking a little bit from my original, you know, kind of, you know, two cents about this MSRP, you know, price increase. Um, originally, I was kind of like, you know, it's not a big deal. It's going to be all right. The last four Sword and Shield sets kind of prepared us for this. And the reason I was saying that was because basically the last four Sword and Shield sets never really went under 100. Um, when they did go under 100, they made it to like 98, 95. And yes, we're talking about booster boxes in general. We're not talking about any other product. We're talking about booster boxes. So I've always, you know, I just kept on saying we're already kind of, you know, being prepared for this. So, you know, I kind of went out talked to some of my homies and i don't know i think i might have underestimated how much this is going up at this point in time i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it the pre-orders and pre-sales for the football center on the brand new scarlet and violet booster boxes are set at 161 dollars holy sh <laughs> we obviously knew what's gonna happen but seeing it oh my god it's a little scary i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys but I was sitting here thinking originally that even though, you know, the price increase was going to be like that drastic, like 20 more, 20 more dollars, I didn't know, I don't know, I wasn't really taking it too much in consideration because LGSs and, you know, people that with just shows, their price increase might have only gone up $10, if you guys know what I'm saying. So I was sitting here imagining like, all right, back then you could find some certain, you know, certain sets you know at the lowest of the low probably like 90 dollars a booster box maybe we won't see 90 dollars anymore but we'll see 100 and i'm still thinking of course there's going to be lgs's out there that are going to be fire selling and you know try and get them off the books for around 100 ish even though they only paid not even though they paid 90 to like 92 dollars you know distro price i'm still sitting here thinking that the same thing is going to happen unless they print out a whole bunch of booster boxes and they prices tank which i don't see that happening because pokemon has been navigating this whole printing to demand better than any other tcg out there i just i don't know i don't know so basically what i'm saying is i'm backtracking um one of my favorite lgs's one of my favorite sonar owners basically said shit rolls downhill so if well you know what she meant by that is from her She's paying more for the booster boxes at distro price. She's paying more for the fees at distro price. Shipping is going to cost more too because of the pallet shipping. And then all that other stuff, the cost is going to have to come from somewhere else. And this is from something that has a pretty big account. You know what I'm saying? So even if, if she's even concerned, I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, yes, we have been seasoned for the fat past four sets that, you know, $100, $110 isn't that bad. But right now, I'm sitting here thinking that it's looking more like 120. If these sets are good and they print to demand the right way, like they have been for the past four sets, because um, yes, they, right now we there is a shortage, but it's because you know the circumstances that we're in, where is the end of the block and they're switching over. But in regular situations, they have been you know taking care of this whole booster box situation, print to demand, you know, pretty good. So I'm sitting here thinking like. Yeah, this is definitely going to be looking like at the cheapest, I'm saying the cheapest, maybe like a $600 case. And that's like a deal, $100 booster box. That's going to be a deal. That's going to be the steal of the steals to where back then, if you found a booster case for 520, 525, you jumped on it because that was the lowest it was going to get. I'm thinking right now, 600 is a very comfortable spot. Uh, me personally, I'm going to try to find it. 600 580 if i find some pre-orders for a case for 580 600 620 that's where i'm going to be pulling the trigger but i kind of just want to you know address it and let you guys know i made an oopsie my fault yes we are going to be looking at about 110 120 a booster box and that's you know the less you know like bare minimum type stuff 
and I'm thinking if the sets are healthy, the demand is healthy, everything's healthy, man, we are looking at 120 at least on average for like a regular set. Like um, just to put it into consideration or like, you know, like, like, let's think about it. So, you know how like Astro Radiance is like, was like dubbed like the worst one of the last four sets and it never even made it under 90. I'm thinking in this new block, even the ones that don't, you know, aren't, uh, you know, great, amazing sets aren't going to make it under, man, 110. And that's just, you know, me being completely honest. Of course, of course, guys, there is going to be situations where, like I said, you are going to be able to find them for 100 where guys just want to get them off the books. But man, I'm scared. Um, like I said, at first, I wasn't worried. But now, just taking all that into consideration, someone's going to have to pick up the cost. And this sucks for us. I think it's going to be the consumers. Um, obviously, some OGSs are going to be still in pain. And I do wish, you know, somebody would kind of made like a breakdown situation of that. Mason, Danny, um, you know, of how they're going to be dealing with this. As far as us, the customers, damn. Um, how's this going to affect us? I know me personally... Opening up a booster box every single live, a hundred and you know, a hundred dollars, one hundred and ten this past year. I'm not going like has been affecting you know what I'm saying my decision on what I open whenever I go live. So now that I know I'm going to be spending on an average 120, 125 on a booster box plus you know of course everything else I involved with my lives. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I am still trying to gather more data and more thoughts on how this whole set you know, booster pack is going to be, but you know, I just turn on notifications. Cause you know, whenever that pops up, I do definitely want to, you know, give you guys my two cents on that. But overall guys, let's get ready for this. Cause it's going to be a different ball game this year. I'm sitting here thinking, yes, you know, $10 isn't going to matter on the upcharge for everything. But when you're opening up, you know, so much, you know, stuff is going to add up. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Either way, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, my fault. I dropped the ball on this one. But hopefully, you know what I'm saying, nobody builds up any, you know, weird, uh, what's it called, um, expectations of the set. I do think we need to prepare ourselves to spend a little bit more than, you know, I you know, originally were to. I feel like I wasn't too off, but, you know what I'm saying, I definitely want to, you know, downplay this, especially now that I'm talking more to my LGS homies, distro homies, and now that I know that most of like my buddies that are usually known to give out the best deals, I'm talking about like $90, $95 booster boxes, even they're sitting here going like, I don't know, Eddie, I'm thinking as low as I'm going to go is 105 110 I believe it. I definitely believe it. Um, obviously, LGSs are hoping that these are out of the park sets so they can make money, so they can sell them for 120 125 130 but I'm sitting here thinking, damn, it's going to be a scary sight. It's definitely going to be a scary, scary sight. But like I said, comment down below anything you want to tell me. With all that being said, boys, we gone.